Breaking news, guys. Diaspora group scheduled protests against INEC chairman and Godwin Opabio. They said, you have to resign now or be disgraced. Nigerians, they say they don't want to take them lightly with these people, all these politicians, eh? When they use, when they disgrace the country, you understand? They use Nigerians, they do whatever they like and all that. They say these people, they are not fit to be in those positions. They have found themselves. This will shock you. What is currently going on in Nigeria right now will shock you. Okbabio and um, INEC chairman, they are now in big trouble. Nigerians, I beg, not go, not go away. Hey, <laughs> still to the end of this video. For you to understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. I beg, share this video, let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is happening. Subscribe if you have not. Like us, I beg, like us. The leadership of the United Nigerians in Diaspora, UND, has said that it went back on massive street protests to, to some Nigerian embassies in Washington, D.C., uh, same other U.S. cities, London, and other major cities in Europe and Asia nations asking for immediate resignation of the of chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and the Senate President, Godwin Okbabio. The diaspora group said that the INEC chairman should resign over what they described as the conduct of a shambolic 2023 general elections why uh, Senate President Okbabio should step aside over the allegation of budget pardon raised, raised against him by some senators. In a statement issued on Monday in Abuja, signed by its president worldwide, Ambassador Yusuf Adeinka and his general secretary worldwide, Comrade Johnson Achim, the group solicited cooperation of the international community during the protest period and also urged foreign nations who practice ideal democracy like the Great Britain, the United States, and other nations of the world to bar the INEC national chairman and his team members, uh, Senator, uh, the Senate President of Pabio, and indeed the top the top echelon of the Nigerian judiciary who partook in deciding the 2023 elections, petitions, tribunal matters from entering their countries. The diaspora group also commended Senator Ningi for his courage to expose budget pardon in the National Assembly. We, the leadership of the United Nigerians in diaspora, UND, an umbrella body of diaspora group comprising of Nigerians living in the United Kingdom, the United States of America, some European and Asia nations wish to alert Nigerians and the entire international community on our resolve to hit the streets and Nigerian embassies in Washington, D.C., uh, some other U.S. cities, London and other major cities in Europe and Asia nations where our members are domiciled to protect the conduct of a shambolic 2023 presidential election, a general elections by the, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and his group team. As a body, we have carefully watched the at incidents and actions of the national chairman, vice versa, the current happenings and realities in Nigeria, and wonder what the hell he is still waiting for to resign from that position. To put the record straight, the 2023 elections, where the input corrupt commission claimed it spent a whooping 300 billion naira was not only the most expensive, but also the 
the most incredible in our recent history. We recall first, for, first and foremost how the national chairman and his commissioner in charge of public affairs, a certain Dr. Festus Kony, graced a, a, every available national and international platforms, assuring Nigerians and the rest of the world of a most transparent election using the biometric uh, voter accreditation system, BVARS machines, that would automatically transmit elections results, data from the elections results and data from uh, that data from various polling units across the country to the Commission's central server. These rather novel technological innovations we applauded as we all believed it would crop the electoral manipulations and malpractices which our electoral system has been known with through the manual accreditation and collection of uh, elections results. According to the statement, the most the, the consenting is the fact that the, the said Professor Mahmoud is yet being strategically positioned by the Tinubu administration to possibly perfect another fraudulent uh, uh, chariot in the guise of elections for the incumbent government come 2027. For emphasis, this global body, why commending some of the northern senators like Senator Ninki for their courage to speak up on the alleged pardon of 3 trillion naira into the uh, initial approved 25 trillion naira by the president gives the Senate president, Senator Godun Okbabio, only 48 hours to honorably resign his position and face immediate persecution. Should he fail to heed, we encourage members of the National Assembly to immediately commence a process of his impeachment as he has manifestly demonstrated incapacity, corruption, and collusion with the executive arm of government. He was ordinarily elected to checkmate in line with the principles of checks and balances as enshrined in the Nigerian constitution. We also knock the Nigerian judiciary for stamping the fraud and illegality doubled 2023 elections by Mahmoud and Koret. That arm of government has since then lost the honor, dignity and respect of many Nigerians who had relied on it as ordinarily the last hope of the common man to remedy the wrongs and defeat in the 2023 elections. The group, however, resolved to commence peaceful protest in major uh, cities and embassies in Washington, D.C., the New York, London, Paris, and numerous other cities where our members reside in their numbers. Through messages on our placards, we shall insist on the immediate resignation of the INEC National Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu and respectively the Senate President Godwin Okbabio. We shall continue our global protest and we we will not quit or stop until Mahmoud and Okbabio resign their positions as the national chairman of INEC and as president of Nigerians Red Chambers. We also urge the United Nations, the European Union and other world bodies should stop them from making or getting any form of international honor re recognition or participating in his activities and engagement. Finally, we solicit the usual cooperation of the international community during this period and those and also urge foreign nations who practice ID democracy like the Great Britain, the United States and other nations of the world to bar the corrupt INEC national chairman and his group team members, the Senate President, Godino Pabio, and indeed the top echelon of the Nigerian judiciary who partake in deciding the 2023 elections, petitions tribunal matters from entering their countries. They should classificate their international passports, those of their wives and families, and ensure 
there is no hiding place for Nigerian 2023 election robbers. They are a complaints of their obviously corrupt, you know, enablers. Hmm. Well, I wish this protest we really did uh, something positive. Yes, I wish it will yield, you know, positive in Nigeria. So, guys, I'm dropping it here. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section if you're just joining us. Subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.